Coming up on the Epoch News, Attorney General Barr explains how Muller could have reached a decision. And thanks for tuning in to the Epoch News, folks. I'm Angela Anderson. Today's story was written by Zachary Stiber. The Attorney General, William Barr, says that Special Counsel Robert Mueller was wrong when Mueller said he could not recommend charging President Donald Trump with a crime if enough evidence existed. Mueller is speaking for the first time since the submission of his report to Barr, said on May 29 that his team's avoiding to come to a decision on prosecution on whether to press charges or not was due to Department of Justice policy. Muller said, citing the department's Office of Legal Counsel. Under long-standing department policy, a president, president cannot be charged with a federal crime while he is in office. That is unconstitutional. Even if the charge is kept under seal and hidden from public view, that too is prohibited. Charging the president with a crime was therefore not an option we could consider. Attorney General Barr, who's the head of the department and Mueller's boss, said that's simply not true. In an interview with CBS on May 30, Barr said, quote, I personally felt he could have reached a decision. Uh, he had his reasons for not doing it, which he explained, and I'm not going to, you know, argue about those reasons. Barr said the officer's opinion was relevant, but didn't prohibit what Mueller thought it did. Barr went on to say the opinion says you cannot indict a president while he is in office, but he could have reached a decision as to whether it was criminal activity. When Mueller's team punted on making the decision on obstruction, Barr and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein stepped in and reviewed the 10 cases Mueller highlighted in his report. They also reviewed other evidence and found there wasn't enough to conclude that Trump obstructed justice. Barr was also asked about Mueller seemingly to suggest that Congress continue the investigation, which lasted for about two years and cost tens of millions of dollars. Barr went on to say in the interview, I'm not sure what he was suggesting and that the Department of Justice doesn't use our powers of investigating crimes as an adjunct to Congress. On May 1st, Barr said during an appearance before the Senate Judiciary Committee that he and Rosenstein were surprised that Mueller's team didn't reach a decision on obstruction. Barr commented on the March 5 meeting he and others had with Mueller by saying, We did not understand exactly why the special counsel was not reaching a decision. And when we pressed him on it, he said his team was still formulating the explanation. He went on to say they don't conduct criminal investigations just to collect information and put it out to the public and that if Mueller felt that he shouldn't go down the path of making a traditional prosecutive decision, then he shouldn't have investigated. Barr's later statements come as the Department and Special Counsel's Office issues a joint statement seeking to clarify confusion over Mueller's comments. Kerry Kupek, spokeswoman for the Department of Justice, and Peter Carr, spokesman for the Special Counsel's Office, said in a joint statement, the Attorney General has previously stated that the Special Counsel repeatedly affirmed that he was not saying that. But for the OLC opinion, he would have found the president obstructed justice. The special counsel's report and his statement today made clear that the office concluded it would not reach a determination one way or the other about whether the president committed a crime. And adding that, there is no conflict between these statements. And that's all for today's story, folks. We'd love to hear your thoughts below and please make sure to follow along with us by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Angela Anderson.